AIDS. The word AIDS stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. The illness interferes with the immune system, making people with AIDS much more likely to get infections, including opportunistic infections. Syndrome means a group of symptoms. Statistics AIDS was first reported in 1981. In 2009, the WHO, who estimated that there are 33.4 million people worldwide living with HIV or AIDS, with 2.7 million new HIV infections per year and 2 million annual deaths due to AIDS. Pathogen AIDS is caused by human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, a member of a group of viruses called retrovirus. Transmission Transmission of HIV Infection generally occurs by Sexual contact with infected person By transfusion of contaminated blood By sharing infected needles From intravenous drug abusers From infected mother to her child Through placenta HIV is not spread by mere physical contact It spreads only through body fluids Replication of virus the virus enters the body of a person where RNA genome of virus replicates to form viral DNA with the help of enzyme transcriptase. The viral DNA incorporated into host cell DNA and directs the infected cells to produce viral particles. HIV enters helper T, lymphocytes and replicates. The progeny virus attack helper T lymphocytes leading to decrease in the number of helper T lymphocytes. Due to decrease in the number of helper T lymphocytes, the person suffers from fever, diarrhea and weight loss. The person becomes immune deficient and unable to protect against infections. Test Widely used diagnostic test for AIDS is ELISA, enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. Symptoms Fever, sweat, swollen glands, chill, weakness and weight loss. People who are infected with HIV may not have symptoms asymptomatic from 10 years or longer but they can still transmit the infection to other. Prevention AIDS has no cure, so prevention is the only best method. NGO and NACO, NACO, National AIDS Control Organization, are educating people about AIDS. World Health Organization, WHO, has started a number of programs to prevent spreading of HIV infection. Making blood from blood banks safe from HIV. Ensuring the use of disposable needles and syringes. Free distribution of condoms. Advocating safe sex. Promoting regular checkups for HIV in susceptible populations.